Hey, I'm Gold. I'm a freelance colorist and DC Tilt developer, and I have five new DC Tilts to introduce. Those being the six vector hue, saturation, subsaturation, density, and vibrance. You may be wondering what six vector refers to in front of the names, and those are the six hue bands or six hue vectors that you can manipulate. Those being red, green, blue, cyan, magenta, and yellow. But without further ado, let's head over to DaVinci Resolve and see how these work. So I have my usual setup with the already disabled test image and node-based color management. An IDT coming from RE White Gamut 3, log C3 to DaVinci White Gamut Intermediate being my working space and at the very end going from DaVinci White Gamut Intermediate to Rec 709 Gamma 2.4 and being my display color space. And I also have a CDL node after the input device transform for just some simple corrections. So first up, we can look at the six vector hue, which uh, as of recording this video is on version 1.1. Most of these six vector tools have a very similar user interface. On top, we have the controls to actually change or apply the effect, in this case, shifting the hue. And these are for the six hue bands, the six vectors. So, for example, if I take the yellow vector, I can change the hue of the yellow colors in the image. And if I take the red one, I can change the skin tone, for example. Then beneath that, we have controls to actually change the exact color the vector is targeting. And to better illustrate this, we have the show vector curves, and you can also highlight each of the vectors individually. So if we, for example, take the blue vector, we can start changing what the blue vector targets exactly. And as you can see on the curves, the blue vector targets a specific, well, each of the vectors target a specific hue the most, and then there's a fall off up until the next vector's peak, where the adjacent vectors don't modify the image at all. And as such, we can yeah, change what the blue vector modifies, then, for example, the green vector in this image, for example, the greens are quite yellow. So we can play with, with the yellow vector, targeting more yellows, less greens, yeah, now the green vector is doing much better. Play with the cyan a bit and the magenta vector. There we go. And now I have changed all of the vectors a bit. So they target the colors a bit better. And through careful manipulation, I can change how the image looks quite a bit, so before and after, just with this one tool. So next up we have the six vector density, also version 1.1, and the user interface is exactly the same, but this time the first six sliders, instead of changing hue, they apply density. And density can be applied both in the positive and negative directions. What density does is it darkens saturated colors. Then we have saturation. Again, the user interface is exactly the same. This time we're just applying plain old saturation or removing it. Then we have subtractive saturation, which is a bit different, where instead of brightening the image, it darkens it while saturating it. And finally, we have Vibrance. Now this one has three additional controls and the Show Vibrance Curve checkbox. This is the curve of the Vibrance that gets applied, where on the left side you have the grayscale, not saturated colors, 
and on the right end you have very saturated colors. And this curve dictates how much saturation is added to each of these colors. The idea is that the very neutral colors, the whites, blacks and grays, are left where they are. Less saturated colors get a lot of saturation and then up until the very, very saturated colors, which don't get any additional saturation. And how this looks in practice? It's a different type of saturation. Well, there you go. If you'd like to try these out, you can find links down in the doobly-doo to buy them separately, buy them as a pack with a small discount, or get the demo pack with all my details but with a watermark, so you can try them out before buying. See you next time!